are here with New Creative and the president of New Creative, Benno, in the One Coast showroom in America's Mart. Benno, tell me a little bit about how New Creative got started. Well, New Creative has been around for about 30 years, and we have always been a design-driven product company. Uh, we have, in the last uh, three or four years, we've really focused on developing design-driven collections that are themed for outdoor living products. And one of the things that I feel most passionately about um, is, you know, this business is about people and it's about products. And like people, there are certain types of people and people have personalities. And I think, I think um, products have to have personalities for the product to really stand out on the retail shelf. Uh, you have to build a personality into the product. You kind of have to start the product development process with, you know, begin with the end in mind and think about the consumer that is going to buy it. Think about the kind of lifestyle that they would like to live in. And you build a collection around that. And uh, that enables you to tell a story at the end that you can then, you can reinforce that story um, through the finishes, through the, the um, shapes and the icons that you use on a collection and you can reinforce it through labeling that, that the end consumer sees on the retail shelf. You can reinforce it through building certain pre-packs of um, product groupings that, that fit on a four-foot section or that fit on a certain display fixture. I believe over the last 10, 15 years especially, the consumer in the, in, in the United States has become much more sophisticated in terms of how they buy, how, how she purchases product. You know, 10, 20 years ago, it was probably enough to just have the right product or the right price at the right quality at the, at the right function. You were good if you had the right function, quality, and price. Today, those are like, the, you know, those are the entrance tickets. That's not going to win you the game. You've got to have that, and then you have to have that emotional piece to the, to the product. You have to have that emotional element to the product, whether it's an... Um, whether that's a design element driven by color uh, and, and um, design elements that take you back to another time or to another place or to a story, or it's the emotional piece that connects the customer and makes them fall in love with your product. I mean, at the end of the day, the consumer has to fall in love with our product. Um, so take, and taking the indoors outside, uh, um, you know, I think in the last 15 years, the um, the industry has shown, the home furnishings industry has done a good job of showing the consumer how to furnish their home differently uh, to the point where today Americans change the inside of, the, you know, change the inside of their home every few years. You know, 50 years ago, our grandparents, they bought a living room set and a dining room set and a bedroom set when they got married and that was it for the next 50 years. Today we're changing our home, you know, much more frequently. It's almost following kind of the apparel model, where we have spring, you know, a spring wardrobe and a, and a fall wardrobe. Well, that whole concept is going. We're taking that to the outdoors. You know, people have um, uh, people are spending more time outdoors um, because of the green movement. We want to connect with nature again, but also because we want to connect with our neighbors. We want to connect with other people in the community. So we're spending time outside in our yard, and, and we're, we're, the consumer is decorating their outdoor space into different rooms. You have, you know, the front yard is kind of the foyer, the hallway that you show off, show off to the neighborhood. The backyard, you might have a little living area in the backyard. You might have a kitchen area in the backyard where you're cooking and you have it. You know, you're doing your barbecuing and and food preparation. So, so we offer collections for the different parts of the front yard and the backyard um, that, that allow the consumer to just be comfortable when they're outside and, and enjoy the outdoors um, and also celebrate life. You know, I mean, every month you want to celebrate something else. I mean, there's, you know, you're, you're celebrating spring is back or you're celebrating the, the holidays. Um, so we offer products for the different seasons of the year and um, we, we, we offer different looks that appeal to different consumer personalities. Well, in talking about personality, you have quite a bit of personality with you today in something very creative. You have this fabulous flower on you. Tell I you what, love that's our Gerber daisy. Gerber daisy. Our Gerber daisy is actually it's part of our logo, and you can hardly see it on this little logo up here on, my, on, on the name tag. So um, the reason we, we 
proudly wear the Gerber Daisy and, and we give it to all the, all the customers walking through the show and um, it's because it really stands for the, the energy of our company. I mean, um, our brand statement is we want to create must-have outdoor living decor that energizes your spirit and makes you feel good. And what makes you feel better than a Gerber Daisy? It's just a simple, fun, colorful flower that just makes you feel good. And that's the business we're in. We're, we're in the business of creating products that make consumers feel good, that make the retailer feel good, and we're only going to be successful if we make the ind independent retailer successful and if we, if we help the independent retailer merchandise our product in, the sto in, in their store. And independent retailers have thousands of different companies and vendors that, that, they that they have to review to find different products. The advantage of buying from New Creative is it's sort of a one-stop shopping concept where we have the entire outdoor living categories under one roof. You can buy it by category, which is by function, or you can buy it by collection, by look. So it's sort of the category is the rational element, you know, that's where you, this function, this price point, this quality level, and then the collection is the emotional, the look and the style and the, you know, the, the, the feeling that you get with the, with the product. So we offer the assortment in those two different ways, and we help the independent retailer merchandise it in their store through display fixtures, through pre-packed programs, um, where we'll take a 50-item collection and we'll show you 10 of them. We'll, t we'll put 10 of them into a pre-pack, or a version B with 20 of them in a pre-pack. And so the retail, for the retailer, instead of choosing from, you know, instead of reviewing all 3,000 of our items, which is a time-consuming process, we can show them 40 pre-packs, and they can choose three pre-packs that, you know, really fit their store needs. Well, and by doing that, you've taken the confusion out of it, you've made it easy, and you've also made it so that new creative gets into their store in a personality package and in a meaningful, impactful way that they can really merchandise and make it easy on their store when they get in there. Exactly. Okay, well, Benno, thank you. It's been a pleasure. You've given us quite an overview of what new creative is all about, and you've also told about how you are going to be help the um, independent retailer be successful. I appreciate your time with the Gifted and Home channel today and being here in the One Coast Showroom. Thank you, Benno, so much. Thank you.